All right. Okay, we are up and running. <laughs> if you notice all the laughter on this end, it's because we've been having a few technical glitches over here. So, we're having our game night tonight, our one for March. Uh, tonight we are doing a game of Family Feud. It's going to be authors against readers. And I'm actually going to pop our third author onto our screen. <gasps> Yay! Yay! You get to see me put on my face because I'm running behind like this. <laughs> so, you know, real guys. Uh, we're going to just kind of run down the the row here, and then everyone just kind of quickly introduce themselves and say who they are. We have one more contestant that we're watching for when she pops up for full frame or two. So um, I'm Sarah Eden. I'm your host for tonight. Um, I have exactly three other games of experience being a host, <laughs> so that's how great it's going to go tonight. Um, and next to me is our uh, tech guy. Hi, I'm Paul. I belong to her. So nope. Other way. Point the other, other way. way. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are on the wrong side of each other. Go down. Go down. The video like mirror images it. It's so confusing. All right, on to Lisa. Hi, so I'm Lisa, and I am just a super fan. I am a super fan of all these women, actually, including Tiffany. She's one of my best friends. So um, I just live in Utah, and I just am excited to play a fun game tonight. So all right, awesome. Yeah. Okay, Tracy, let everyone know who you are and a little about so you. I'm Tracy Hunter Abramson, and um, I'm from Virginia. So, like, when I don't know an answer, it's because it's past my bedtime, not because I don't know the answer. <laughs> but just putting that out there. Sure, Tracy. Sure. No, seriously. <laughs> you guys have to help me. Like. <laughs> All right, let's pop down to Jeanette. Okay, hi. I'm Jeanette. I'm um, Jeanette Rallison and CJ Hill, and used to be CR St. James. And I'm from Arizona, but I'm up here in Utah, which is why I'm the one dressed warmly. Um, very, very cold. And we'll, we'll see if I remember anything from any research I've done in my entire life. And yeah, it's going to be great authors. All right. Tiffany, who's also on our team readers. Um, I'm Tiffany. I live in Utah. And I'm a fan of reading. I like to read and listen to podcasts. And I'm a friend of Lisa who said, you want to have some fun? <laughs> and it will be fun. <laughs> Crazy, but fun. All right, and then right now here below me is Annette. So, yeah, um, I am mostly, hello, doorbell. Um, I'm mostly um, from Utah. I, I have a, some Finnish heritage. Got to spend three years there growing up. And if you know my books, then you know that as well, because I write a lot about Finland and other European stuff. Um, I've been, I published with Covenant originally. I've done a whole bunch of other things as well. Though. So it's been fun. Timeless Romance Anthologies with Sarah. Um, and also traveling with Tracy and Jeanette. It's been, it's been awesome. So yeah, USA Today bestseller, best of state medal winner. What else? I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> I do stuff. I write weird things. Yeah. I research really freaky. Actually, I, I, I bought a book not too long ago called the insulin murder so my husband said should i be con concerned and i'm like no 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 it's worse just research research i swear <laughs> this, is how, this is this is how the writer brain works so. uh, well we are super duper excited tonight to uh, play a game of family feud i posted a survey with a whole bunch of questions oh, like a week ago mm -hmm. and we got a ton of responses and those responses are going to be our answers for tonight so Paul over here is going to get our game board running, and uh, we're going to give this a shot. Um, we, oh, and we, actually, before that starts, Paul, we have got our third member of our Welcome. Okay, we're good now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll explain how this works for us, right? Jennifer, um, we've had everyone just give a quick introduction of who they are. You want to share anything with us down there? Can you hear us, Jen? Yes. Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You got everything right in the middle of it. So, yes, that's a little... <laughs> yeah, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is... Jennifer. 
I am just a mom. I'm just here. If you hear some things back there, it's dinner time. <laughs> we put a sign on the door and when we come in here that says recording, please be quiet. <laughs> we don't know the door. And it's it's a nice <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be playing Family Feud. It's gonna run very much like Family Feud does on the television, um, but probably far less order. <laughs> Um, I'm going to let the teams decide what order they want to go in. Who's going to go first, second, and third? And um, teams could share with our new arrivals to the, to the buzzer. So when it's their turn, they can buzz in. That would be fabulous. Okay, so how do we buzz? And actually, while we do that, I'm going to run a commercial. How's that sound? <laughs> so here we go. Game Nights knows the commercials are for the books we're giving away as prizes. So one of the prizes we're giving away to a lucky participant in the comments is a copy of CJ Hill slash Jeanette's book Slayers. So follow along in the comments and uh, you'll have a chance to do that as well as some other prizes. So we're going to have Paul start up our family food game. <laughs> he apparently didn't want to keep seeing Oh, us. man. <laughs> All right. So this is our game, readers versus authors. And to our contestants, I placed in the private chat function here instructions for the buzzer. So, who is starting first for each team? Tracy. Tracy. Lisa. And Lisa. What? So, I'm going to remove everyone else. They'll still be able to watch. They just won't be up front. So, we're going to pop in to our first question. All right. Yeah, I locked it so that we can't. So, you can't know. buzz early. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. He, 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 he knows that I might. Never mind. I don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For this question, the top seven answers are on the board. Um, you won't be able to buzz in until after I finish reading the question. I will tell you, we surveyed three hundred people. And these are their top seven answers. Here's the question. Name a character from a book by Jane Austen. Okay, Elisa, it looks like you buzzed in first. Yes, Elizabeth Bennett. All right. Elizabeth Bennett, is it on the board? Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Okay, Lisa, does your team want to play or do you want to pass? Uh, we'll play. Okay, I'm going to add your team back in and pull Tracy off. Okay, so this takes us next to Tiffany. Question, name a character from a book by Jane Austen. Um, you already said that one. <laughs> What's so hard when they took your answer? <laughs> Um, uh, Elizabeth Bennett's sister. <laughs> Jane. Jane. Just Jane. Jane. <laughs> Yay! It was there. I just thought of another one. Yeah, but Jennifer, same question. Book by Jane Austen. Did you say it needs to be? A female character? No. Nope. Well, any character. A character. Oh. Well, Mr. Darcy. Yes. Is it up there? <laughs> um, <no. laughs> 
Yeah. Right, that takes it back to yeah, Lee. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who another one? Now I remember. Eleanor um, Dashwood, maybe? Eleanor. Okay, let's see if it's up there. <laughs> um, of course. All right. Um, team readers are killing it. Are they too big? Can you think of another one? <sighs> uh, Charles Bingley? Mr. Bingley? Mr. Bingley? Mr. Bingley? <laughs> Oh, oh, no, Mr. Mr. Bingley. Bingley. Good answer, How right. tragically ironic. Okay, right for a name of character from a book by Jane Austen. Um, Charles Bingley. Emma. 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 Let's see if she is up. Emma. Here. Emma. <laughs> what are you killing it? All right. Okay. okay, back to Lisa. Oh, from a book by Jane Austen. It gets harder as you get down to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Mr. Knightley, maybe? Mr. Mr. Knightley. Oh. Knightley. See there? <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is when it gets really tough. There's only one answer remaining. <laughs> Tiffany. Uh, one strike, but there's also only one answer. Name a character <laughs> from a book. I already did. I already did that one. Um... Um... Oh. <laughs> Kitty Bennett. Kitty Bennett is up there. Uh, oh. Two strikes and only one answer, so no pressure. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jen. Hey, name a character from well, Jane Austen. I want to say another one from Pride and Prejudice, but I think we've exhausted. I'm not sure it would be on there. So maybe. Um, all right, I'll just say Lady Catherine de Bourgh. Lady <laughs> Catherine? I knew it. So what that means is we're going to pop our author team on. Right. They have a chance to try to steal. They can come up with the only remaining answer. We'll give you guys just a second to converse with each other. Okay. All right, so Colonel Brandon is an idea, Mr. Wickham. Um, Fanny, Fanny, was it Price? Is her last name? What? Who are the two from Sense and Sensibility? The sister. Hey guys, Fifteen seconds. Decide okay. what you want, team okay. author. Mr. Wickham might be the most most known. What okay. do you guys think? Or Mr. Collins. What do you think? Ness, what do you think? That's oh gosh. Collins might be a good guess on that. Um, Wickham or Collins? Okay, you need an answer, team authors. Tracy, you're the captain. You what, you're making me answer? You were the, you yes. were the first person, so okay, you have to answer. Mr. Wickham. Mr. Wickham, is it there? There you go. Uh, yeah. Oh, that means the points go to team readers. And who, do we, who are we supposed to? And yeah. let's reveal our final answer that didn't uh, get chosen. Oh, oh that was the other one I was thinking. Yeah, yeah okay. I was wondering if persuasion would show up. Okay, so our current score is team readers 259, team authors zero. <laughs> we to get over 700, so <laughs> we can get there. All right, who is going second in each of our teams? Oh, I'll go second. Okay, Jeanette. Okay. And who's going second for team readers? I will. Okay, and Tiffany. All right, pull up your buzzers, ladies, and we're going to reveal our second round. Remember, don't buzz in until after I finish reading the question. Okay, this time it is the top six answers on the board. Again, we surveyed about 300 people um, and asked them the following question. Name a place where authors might do their writing. Okay, Jeanette, you were the yeah. best on the buzzer. Their office or den. Okay, let's see where that was. Oh, number one. Okay, Jeanette, does your team want to play or do you want to pass? We'll play. If we okay. can't write, right, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> we have to write. 
Okay. <coughs> so up next is Annette saying, question, name a place where authors might do their writing. Um, I will say a coffee shop or other little restaurant kind of place. Okay. So on board. Oh. Yay! Oh. All right. Okay, that takes us to Tracy. A okay, well, where I write, nobody else does, so I don't know if it, it would be on there. So, um, ooh. Yeah, treadmill's probably not going to be on there. <laughs> I don't know if the treadmill is on there. <laughs> okay, seriously, that's seventy-five percent of my writing. Um, how about outside? Okay, outside. outside. That's there. Ooh, nice. Certainly, the team authors know where authors do their stuff. <laughs> It'd be embarrassing if you guys couldn't get any of these. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeanette. Guess the question is, where do they think we write? Like, they might think we have a I lot know. more. It's true. Like, with my celebrity friends, that's on the board, right? No, that wasn't my answer. That was in bedroom. I'm going to say bedroom. Bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All, All right. right. Okay. okay, Annette. Um, no strikes yet and still two answers remaining. A place okay. where they're writing. I will say library. All right. Okay. Oh. Whoops. Okay, that says answer five. It should say library. <laughs> Obviously, Steve Harvey's rendition of this show has nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> only three people, which means number six has even fewer. Okay, okay so in that case, I'm going to go with something kind of like my, how about the gym? I mean, that's where I write. Okay. All is we need the gym is up there. there. Uh, no, because no, most writers where I write. This should be on there. <laughs> Jeanette, can you come up with our final answer? Um. Okay. Well, like I'm thinking maybe like at their work, their their job that they're doing, like during breaks or. Okay. Whatever. Is that up there at their day job? Uh, no. I think they're probably under office. Oh, on Annette. And I guarantee that when this flips over, it'll actually say what it's supposed to. <laughs> but I know we, we don't know if we believe you anymore, Sarah. <laughs> Hollywood with our celebrity friends. That's what it's <laughs> Okay. Annette, can you think of the last one? I think I will go with in the car. Oh, the I car. do that too. That's true. That happens. Hoping, hoping. Uh, oh. Oh. It should be though, right? Because we all do. Yeah, we all have. <laughs> the red lights are wrong. Okay, so that means, team reader, you have a chance to try to steal. So take, um, I can give you 25 seconds to talk amongst yourselves and see if you have that final question. Go ahead or answer. I know where I want to. I want. I want to say the beach or like a cabin or something like that. What do you guys yeah. think? like? Vacation on vacation. Yeah, like vacation or. That's not really a place, but no. we're on the train. On the train. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, like, so decide what you want your answer to be. Jen, what's our answer? I was going to say beach, too, but then when I saw her train, hmm. that sounds... You're the I think California. train. I think train. Your answer. What is it going to be, Lisa? Oh, I think let's. they both say the train. Let's do it. Okay. Is it the train? Oh. Okay, here's where we find out if I actually put the answer in correctly or if I have to tell you what it's supposed it to be. be like a museum or something. Okay, click it and see what it okay. says. Oh, it's a six. We should have gone with that. It's supposed to say a cabin or a getaway. <gasps> oh, we're so, so, so close. Close. We're so A cabin close. or a what? <laughs> getaway. A getaway. Vacation, kind of. So those points yeah. will go to team authors. Okay. Oh, take us back and see where we're at. We're so okay, close. Guys. So close. So close. Oh, my gosh. 252. And we have one more question. This final round, the points are doubled, so we can get someone over 700 to play in fast money. Mm. So that means we're going to have Annette and Jennifer, because you are the ones who are left. Did you guys get the buzzer? All right. Hi. Okay. Yep, I see him. Okay, we're all cleared. Okay, so here we go. We move over to our third. <laughs> Hey, 
Okay, there are four answers on the board this time. Again, we surveyed about 300 people. Um, point values are doubled. You can buzz in as soon as I finish reading the question. Other than romance, name a popular genre. Of Annette. Fantasy. Fantasy, all right. Let's see where that one is. Survey said. All right, Jennifer, one answer can beat it. What is your answer? Science fiction. Okay, let's see if that's up there. Oh, it's number three. Annette, you get to decide. Would you guys like to play or pass? Play for sure. Play, okay, here we go. We're gonna add team authors back onto the screen. And Tracy, it bumps to you. Other than well, romance, name a popular genre of books. I have to say suspense. It is what you write. Let's see if it, it got in the survey. Or mystery suspense. Yay! All right, it did. Okay, Jeanette, one oh. answer remains, but you have zero strikes. So name so, a popular genre of books other than romance. Um, like action adventure? Is that? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Okay, Annette. Other than romance, a popular genre of books. Is this fiction for sure? Because if not, I'll say how to. The question was posed exactly that way. Exactly. Other than romance, okay. a popular genre of books. Popular genre of books. Um, All it said. Historical? What was that? Let's say historical. historical. Okay, let's see. <laughs> you cleared the board. Okay. Yay. All right. <laughs> Playing fast money. So what we're going to do is have team authors decide which two players are going to play in the fast money round. Um, and whoever goes first will stay on. Whoever goes second is going to have to step out of the room or go somewhere where they can't hear. And we will text you when it's your time to come back. So team authors, quickly decide who's going to play. Team readers, hang on. We're going to pull you back in at the end of Fast Money because I we have to text you. So don't go anywhere. What was that, Jeanette? It's a crazy minute. to play Fast Money. Oh, you don't want to play? Seriously? Oh, I, you know, Jeanette's stepping out, so Tracy and I will, will do our best. Okay. okay. Annette, you want to be first or second? Oh, heavens. <laughs> I'll be first. This is overwhelming. Of course I'll you will. So make pressure on me. Thanks. Yep, okay, exactly. So hey, you're from your CIA. You can handle pressure, right? Uh, We're gonna have just so you know, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> so, Tracy, if you'll just step out so you can't see or hear us, and then we'll okay. have someone text you or something to tell you when to come back in. <laughs> okay. You have my number. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your phone with you? <laughs> okay. This could so, turn out very badly. This could be very, very interesting, guys. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play this exactly like they do on the actual game show. Um, I have five questions for you. Go ahead and click over to Fast Money. Okay, so normally in Fast Money you get, I think it's 20 seconds, but there can be a lag online, so we moved it to 40. So Thank you. Fine. <laughs> um, and this is the same uh, survey we took this from, so about 300 people. I think you have to get 300 points between the two of you to win the game. Um, so uh, we'll start out with you. I'm going to ask you questions. Give me the first answer that comes to your mind. We'll post the same ones to uh, Tracy when she comes back in. So... Uh, Paul's going to start the timer. It'll start as soon as I finish asking the first question. Okay, here we go. First question, name a book that brainy people might read. Miss Bourne. Okay. Number two, name a book series that was adapted for movies or TV. Harry Potter. 
How many people are in the average book club? Six. Name a book that is required reading at most U.S. high schools. To Kill a Mockingbird. How many books are there likely to be in a book series? Oof, uh, five. All right. Is that it? Okay. Here's where it gets tricky. You have to manually enter all of your answers. <laughs> what we're going to do is play another commercial. Yay. <laughs> call a little bit of time and then we'll reveal your answers. So commercial number two. so pretty thank you <laughs> so that is one of our other giveaways that we will be um giving away to people who participate in the comments um it is a copy of songbreaker by annette lyon i got to choose which of her books to give away and i love this one so much so it's the one i picked so i'm excited for whoever wins it so okay we have your answers in we're going to reveal them now and see how you did all right the first mm -hmm. question name a book that brainy people might read you said Mistborn survey said. I figured nerds like Brandon Sanderson. Okay. I've, I've really read Mistborn and I'm definitely in <laughs> <laughs> So you get approval from the head nerd. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, name a book series that was adapted for movies or TV. You said Harry Potter. Survey said. Woo! Excellent. Harry Potter. All right. That made up for Mistborn. That's right. <laughs> Number three, how many people are in the average book club? You said six, and the survey said 51. All right, so you are more than halfway there, and you still have two more questions to go. Okay, number four, name a book that is required reading at most U.S. high schools. You said To Kill a Mockingbird. The survey said Oh, yay. Okay, it's not actually supposed to go off until you hit 300. So we're going to pretend like <laughs> it. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> book, uh, question five. How many books are there likely to be in a book series? You said uh, five. And the survey said 71. So you still won anyway. Whoa. <laughs> okay, when Tracy comes back, let's tell her you got five points. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what she does. You actually already won. But we're yes. just going to see what she has to say. All right. The so pressure does to her. Um, let's text Tracy <laughs> and tell her that she needs. Yeah, hit clear the board. Okay, so I'm going to we can see that that's the number she needs to get. <laughs> okay, you still need to get. I'll tell her she has to get to 800 points. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you invite people to play this that you know are good sports. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have texted her to come and rejoin us. We'll see if she gets the message or not. Okay, she did. She's on her way. Okay. Right there she is. Okay. Okay, Tracy. Annette did pretty good. She got, as you can see, 339 points, but that's out of a thousand, so seriously. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She only had to I'll get say, yeah, so no, no, no. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the thing is, the goal was 300, yeah. so she actually already won. So I don't have to do anything. We still want to play and see how you do. So, okay. buckle up. Here right, we so go. Now it's, it's a competition. Like, Who's, you know, thing, did yeah. I do better than Tracy? That's what we're looking at now. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? Oh, don't was... show yet. Okay, one thing you game. want to do, Tracy, though, is close your eyes, because it's going to put Annette's answers back up on the board. Okay. Yes, honor system. Okay, okay. here we go. 
So am I not looking? Like, Don't here. look. Okay. Timer will start when I finish asking the first question. What? Na name a book that brainy people might read. Uh, great Expectations. Okay. Name a book series that was adapted from movies or TV. Uh, Harry Potter. Okay. We're going to give you the buzzer sound because Annette I, said I, that one. I would like to. Um, Little House on the Prairie. All right. Uh, how many people are in the average book club? Uh, Twelve. Name a book that is required reading at most U.S. high schools. Uh, Great Gatsby. How many books are there likely to be in a book series? Seven. Seven. All right. Is it frozen? Am I good? <laughs> frozen. So we have to restart the, the buzzer thing and type in your answer. So we're going to play one more commercial while we do that. So here you go. There you go. That is our third giveaway to commenters is a copy of Tracy's newest book in this way. Um, if you've been watching the commercial, you know the theme this week is Sarah knows how to use a dictionary. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're so proud. Our family feud game is frozen, so I'm going to read the answers to you. <laughs> now is it doing Now that? it's not frozen, but we haven't typed <laughs> okay. it in yet. So I'm just going to read it to you. The first question, name a book that brainy people might read. You said great expectations, and the survey said on that one, zero. What? Is a what was, what was the top answer? Number one answer for that one was war and peace. That was my yeah. other thought. Oh my gosh. I should have been the smarter. The next question was, name a book series that was adapted for movies or TV. And you said Little House on the Prairie. That one got four points. And that's okay. the number one answer of Harry Potter. And that you win. <laughs> you don't have to say wrong, no. The third question, how many people are in the average book club? You said 12. The survey said on that one, 16. Nice. Uh, name a book that is required reading at most U.S. high schools. You said The Great Gatsby. That got 25. And just to back up, um, people in an average people in a book club, 10 was the number one answer at 74. Number one answer for book required at U.S. high schools was To Kill a Mockingbird, which is what Annette got. Woo. And the last question, how many books are there likely to be in a book series? You said seven, and that got 20 points. The number one answer was three at 70, 72. Three, wow. Oh, wow. Isn't that interesting? That is fascinating. Um, I think, I'm doing math right now. Yeah, I think Annette uh, killed it on that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll say I'm glad I went first. <laughs> it does help, huh? All right, so oh. our author team was our technical winners tonight, but the prize <laughs> I had was never going to go to them. Prize. <laughs> 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 yeah. I will send these to Lisa, and she can you guys can decide how you want to divide them up. The prize will be a copy of Forget Me Not, which Yay. came out last year. A John Cole Brothers tote bag right here with the names of the people in that series. Aww. It's really wonderfully adorable, cute pair of uh, heart shaped earrings. They have actual dried forget me nots in them, which is kind of cute. Oh, and an Amazon gift card. So I just send those to Lisa for team readers um, for you guys to enjoy and as a way of saying thank you for joining us. Um, and thank you to everyone who participated in the comments. It was fun to watch your guys' answers pop up. Um, so many people knew exactly what the answers were going to be. But it's always easier when you're not the one on the camera. <laughs> but this was super duper fun. And again, a huge thank you to team readers for joining in, especially since Lisa was like, I'll grab people. I know people who are <laughs>
<laughs> so thank you for coming in. Um, and to those who followed along, thanks for being patient through our technical glitches. That is the order of the day when we do these game nights. Mm -hmm. So, and also a huge thanks to Annette Lyon, Jeanette Ralston, and Tracy Abramson for joining us tonight and for uh, letting me give away copies of their books because I love sharing book love. So, thank you, so <laughs> thank you everybody who joined in and watched along. A ton of fun, and we'll do another game night in April. So that was really fun. That was really fun. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you.